78 verse number 40 through 42. Psalm 70 verse 40 through 42. Verse 40 through 42. How oft did they provoke him in the wilderness and grieve him in the desert? Yea, they turned back and tempted God. Look at your neighbor and say, they tempted God. Yeah. That's the wrong thing, but look at the other one and say, they tempted God. <laughs> and he limited the monument of Israel. So they did not only tempt him, but they also were limited. I'll speak shortly, maybe for a few minutes, 10 to 15 minutes, on unlimited God. Yeah. 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 Life. 
There are many people in the scripture, people like Moses. Moses, you could literally predict that he was going to die of failure. Because this man is around about 40 years of age and he's running as a fugitive into the wilderness. He does not have an escape plan, he does not have an, any investment. Based on those premises, you can literally rule him out. But Moses had an encounter with a burning bush that made him to have a preferred future, not a predictable future. Right. And the very same man that was called a murderer and a failure, in the next coming 24 hours after an encounter with the bush, the Bible says a murderer was changed into a deliverer. Right. There are people whose status is about to change this afternoon. Yeah. People have known you based on the statistics of your background. But don't you dare allow your background to put your back on the ground. You are better than where you are coming from. Don't allow where you have been to define who you are. Because what you did is not who you are. You could have done a mistake in the past, but that past does not define you. People can change and your life is about to change. You might be seated on the same chair, but you won't be the same person after this service. Because God is about to activate the potential in you that we've never experienced. I shout, I am different. Oh, I sense an anointing right here. I hear all your God. You are the best prophet of your life. In other words, don't you dare allow every jump and cheer to tell you what you can achieve and not what you cannot achieve. If God be for you, who can be? In the next coming 24 hours, every garment of poverty, every garment of sickness, every garment of delay, every garment of failure, rejection is a Mary, 
God saith the Lord, you will conceive and you will have a child. Mary steps into intellectual knowledge because Mary was taught by biology that no man gets pregnant without the seed of a man. So Mary is about to abort God's project because she's thinking like a man in the realm of God. You see, God does not want you to reason like you when you are operating in his realm. So Mary says, how shall it be since I know not a man? The reply of Gabriel was, I stand in the presence of the Lord. In other words, as long as if I stand in the presence of the Lord, whatever I speak to you shall surely come to pass. Scripture says that Mary right there said, let it be according to your word. There are people sitting under the sound of my voice who are thinking that God has to first take you through primary school. After that, you go through O level and you pass your O level, go through A level. After that, apply for university and get a degree for you to be blessed. You are too late. The God that we serve is a God that breaks protocol. It's a God that is able to lead you in the presence of your enemies. All the other people I came for under the sound of my voice are here to announce to you that you will wonder how you made it in 2023 because your success will not look like your certificate. Your breakthrough will not look like your background. People will say we know you. You are a primary school teacher. How did you build a double story house? And you tell them it's not by mighty, not by power, but by my spirit, say the Lord. Oh, the devil is a liar. I'm yet to announce to somebody in the next coming three months. Get ready for open doors. When you were rejected, you are not going to be accepted. When you were delayed, you are about to be given speed. Doors are about to swing open for you. The devil is a liar. Your hands will count what you have never counted. Your feet will step into places that you have never stepped into. Shut up, receiver. Praise the Lord. I'll tell you, brother, when you when you start. Now it's key for you to understand as a child of God that your experience, what you know, can become a limitation. So God has to deliver you from you before he can bless you or use you. It's too quiet in the church. You see, Moses was raised in an environment where he was taught all his life that he was a Pharaoh. Pharaoh means a god of the land. So Moses thought he was a god of the land. But God cannot send another god. You have to be humble enough to be used. Now what was the protocol of Pharaoh's Pharaohs were not allowed to walk barefoot head. So when God appeared to Moses, he said, Moses, we will not operate best on the system of Pharaoh. If I got to use you, take off your shoe. Why? Because your experience can become a limitation towards what I want to achieve. There are people that I can be afraid. You gotta take off your shoes. What are the shoes you're past and you're experiencing? Oh my God, can I talk to somebody here? Someone has said, God cannot heal HIV. The devil is here. I'm here to announce to you what doctors have not said, what lawyers have not ever experienced. You're about to step into that season because God is about to defy. Second Kings chapter 7. The Bible says these four lepers were outside the gate of Samaria. God wanted to bring a 24 hour shift in Samaria. And the Bible makes it clear to us that there was no one to use because everyone was shut inside the gate. So the only people that God could use were lepers. But lepers, because yeah, lepers are the people literally that have been relegated. These are the people that are thinking there is no way God can remember us. We are sitting here waiting to die. 
But God says, no, don't you allow somebody to put a full stop in your destiny. If God has not put a full stop, we put a comma right there. That means another sentence is about to begin. There are people that can be a fault. There are people that have ruled you out. And they've said it's over, it's past and you're out. But guess what? They are about to receive the shock of their lives. Because God is about to lift you and bless you in the presence of your enemies. The Bible says, Thou preparest a table for me in the presence of what? Can I preach to somebody else? Can I let us say, Why sit here until we die? So God activated their footprint. And the Bible says, Their enemies, they had a threefold sound. Number one, they had the sound of an army. Number two, they had the sound of chariots. Number three, they had the sound. And I preach right here. All your enemies are about to hear the sound tonight. All you are not the same person that they saw in 2022. They're about to be hit by the surprise. They're still driving better, living better, flying better. And I preach to somebody here. Shout is my head. Yeah, I 
Say I receive. So can I receive? I receive. Listen. Number three. We limit God by our traditions. Mark 7, 18. Mark 7, 18. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Making the word of God of none effect through your tradition which ye which have delivered and many such like things ye do. Do ye? Now hear me. Revelation is progressive. <laughs> is what? Progressive. progressive. Now, revelation is where God is. Truth is where God was. Right? Right? It's too quiet in the church. Right. Truth is where God was. Revelation is where God is. Okay. Give you a practical example. Isaiah says that by the stripes of Jesus, we were healed. <laughs> we are healed. But when Peter's writing, he says, we were. Isaiah says, we are. So what's the difference? What's the difference? To Peter, it's past tense. He's not saying, I am healed. God says, I was healed. In other words, sickness is when they are attacked to heal, they are already too late. You say in the Hebrew, there are two names of God concerning healing. There's Jehovah Rapha and Jehovah Rapha. Jehovah Rapha is a God that heals you when you are sick. Jehovah Rapha is a God that heals you before you are sick. It's too quiet. Um, you see, women have a tendency of taking children for vaccination. They don't vaccinate children because they have polio. They vaccinate children because polio is coming. So when polio is coming, it's too late. There is immunity on that particular child. So you see, as a child of God, there is supernatural immunity that is about to come upon you. That means what will make others to sin? Will not make you to sin because you have divine immunity. Say immunity. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I'm still here with God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Your traditions are limitation. I have serious limitation. Because if you try to put God in a box, you will limit God to operate in your life. Amen. There are others that have already told themselves that. I've tried applying for me for a visa for me to go to the UK and nothing seems to be working. So I'll stay here, I'll not go anywhere. Brothers and sisters, if God spoke to you to go to the UK, no matter how long it will take, oh, yeah. God is faithful oh, yeah. and His word shall surely come oh, yeah. to pass. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. I see here. Oh, yeah. Then the question will become how do we unlimit God? I'll give you a few reasons, then we'll conclude and we try. Number one, how do you believe God? Believe God. Believe God. In other words, activate or engage faith. Yeah. Luke 1, 45. Luke 1, 45. It's too quiet in the church. Amen. I see yeah. Oh, yes. And blessed is she that believed. For they shall be a performance of those things which were taught from the Lord. So that means there is no performance without believing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. If I ask you a question, I want you to respond. Right? Yes. Practical example. Practical example. Say, do you have a house? Your own house? No. Um, my sister, do you have a jet? Private jet? No. You don't have. Um, uh, Pastor Shem, do you have a helicopter? You don't have. Now, no is a definite answer yes. that does not give hope. If you're a child of God, you don't say, I don't have. Mm-hmm. You say, I don't have it yet. yet. <laughs> because when you see someone asking you something, it means they see that you are exactly the match of what they are asking. Yeah. So don't disappoint them by saying, I don't have. Faith is, I don't have it yet. Can you practice right there? Do you have a commercial 
property. I don't have fear yet. Uh huh. Do you have a million dollars in your bank account? I don't have it yet. Do you have 40 properties, houses under your name? I don't have them yet. Do you have a husband? I don't have it. Can I declare to somebody here? It means then that you are saying that it might not be happening now, but it's a matter of time before it begins to happen. Faith is a language. Some of 
fait que tous pauvres livres. Il fait ça tout le monde. Yeah. 